Shalom Israel, this is Sister Kana, and first and foremost, I have to give all glory and honor to Ahaya Asher Ahaya Bahashim Mishaya Wak Wadash Wak. Okay, guys, thank you, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me, guys. I don't, you know, I wanted to show that I am working on a new dress. Um, I got some linen material pure linen material that I you know have so I wanted to start making me some more dresses for the wilderness because you know I have a few linen dresses and you saw the ones that I was making or I've made over the years but I wanted to make a few more and so guys I took a I took a course on pattern making because although, you know, I've been sewing for a long time, I never really knew how to make my own patterns. And, you know, I've been making dresses, but I never had patterns. So I always had to make my dresses like from scratch every time because I never had a pattern. And I didn't really know the formulas to use for pattern making. I mean, you know, there's certain formulas that you need to know. So, I mean, you know, I've, you know, over the years, just was making it on my own, which was, it worked for me, but it's good when you had, you know, how to do, um, you know, everything regarding knowing how to sew. So I took a course and now I know how to make patterns. So I'm making these dresses. Um, this is one dress and I had to, and this is the, everything is already cut out. Let me show you this one up here. It's all cut out. Because, you know, I had already did the, uh, this stuff before. And basically, um, I'm going to add a piece here because I, I didn't have enough material. So it was kind of short, the dress. So I'm actually going to add this piece here. In it. And I didn't have a pattern for this. But um, basically, it's just to make the dress longer to the waist. Okay. So if you can see that, just so you can see that. So this is the dress part, and I added um, that piece on up right here, so you can see that. So it'll be longer, and then this is the corset uh, part, so you can see it. This is the front part, and this is the back part here, okay? This is the back. So I'm going to put this all together and make my dress, okay? And I have some more, but see now the point is, now I have all these different color linens that I can make dresses out of. And I have patterns, so all I have to do is just use the same pattern because I want to make the same dress, but just in different colors. And I also will add white. But again, because I didn't have enough material, I had to add this part. And you know, when you make when you're cutting, you have to make sure the material is going the certain way. So I couldn't, I had to wait till I had the scraps after everything was cut out. I mean, it was fine the size it was. It's just a little short for me. So I'll come back and let you know how it all works out so that you can see it but basically this is my project okay so this is the front right it has the patterns this is already done so you can see it mm -hmm. okay it's going to be no sleeves Okay, sleeveless, but all the dresses will be empty. Because what I wanted to make for um, my dresses, so this you can see that this is the front. And it's kind of corset style. And I'm going to put boning, boning in here. I don't know what I did. Boning. Part. But I'm going to show you. Okay, here it is. This is the kind of boning they sell here in Jordan. Okay? And I wanted to get it like this style. This is the point to make it like this. 
you know, the type of dress that has boning in it. And so I bought this is the boning, right? And you and I will um, stick this in here in the huge seam. I will um, cut it out and put the boning in like this. Okay, so you can see that. And all these places will have boning, kind of like this. Same thing, okay? Just so you get the idea of what this is supposed to be. This is an undergarment. Okay, and I'm going to put the boning in it, and then I'm going to sew it up. Okay, and that'll be that. See, then I'll connect the dress. But guess what else? So it's gonna be no sleeves, right? And the reason why I wanted some no um, sleeveless dresses because look what I found. Oop. Sorry, guys. Look what I found, and I'm so excited about this. I. I found the, the Centro uh, knitting machine. They, I found one here in Jordan. Let me bring it up so you can see it. It's a small one, but basically you can make little um, projects. And I wanted one to see how well they, they work. So later, um, I'll do another video um, just uh, testing this thing out and see how well it works. And I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm going to show you how to dress. And maybe I'll do a sewing video. But, um, thing, you know, I'm not too stationary right now. So I probably won't be able to show you guys how I sew it up. But you, it's already cut out. You see the, um, the pattern here. Okay. And I'm just going to, it's all, almost ready to go. All I got to do is connect it. Connect it. So it's not that far. Um, to go, but I will keep you posted and let you know how this all works out. This is how it's going to be. Let me just turn this around. So you can see. Right? This is the top, and this is the bottom. And then I will connect everything. And then you'll see the whole dress. I will connect it. And then you will see the whole dress. Okay? That's what it's going to look like. So I give all glory and praise to Ahaya Asho Ahaya. Bahashim Ishaya Wa Kodash Wa. I'll keep you posted. Shalom. Praise Ahaya. Hi guys. This is Sister Connie here. I finally finished my chocolate linen dress. And it's lined. You see the lining in there. Uh, if you want to see how I made it, you can go to my Hebrewism page. And I'll put the link in uh, the description box. But I'm so happy that I finished. I I was supposed to put some boning in and I didn't get a chance to do it yet but I will put it in there but uh, you can check out how I made it. I had to add this piece because it wasn't long enough. I kind of didn't have enough material but it's long enough now. Phrase Ahaya Vahashim Yishayu Hebrewism.com Shalom